Okay, now we're ready to do TPM initialization on the Gigabat TRX40 designator. So going through the same process that we've done with the other TPM initializations. First thing I'm going to do is check Bellarc Advisor. We'll take a look at our report, see what we've got. Then we're going to run the test, see what it tells us. Our Bellarc Advisor report tells us we have an AMD Ryzen Threadripper 3970X. So this is on the Gigabat TRX40 designator motherboard. So this is a third generation. So first I've verified. Now let's go run the report. Then we'll go into the BIOS. The tool we're going to run is Why Not Windows 11. And this is available on GitHub. We have a 64-bit CPU. The boot method unified EFI is good. CPU compatibility is good because this is about a year old. This is 32 cores, 64 threads. GPT is detected, so you cannot use MBR. Secure boot is supported, and it says TPM is missing or disabled. So we're going to go into the BIOS, turn that on, and come back and run the test again. I'm going through all this for TPM initialization to show you the differences in stepping through some of these. It looks like for Intel, it's going to be an eighth generation processor. So we've tested an Intel NUC with an i5. No go. We got TPM 2.0 turned on, but without the CPU, we don't pass the specs. It doesn't uh, muster up for Windows 11, which is unfortunate. This machine is a year old, so we should be good to go. As a general rule, a machine about three years old. Now, we've tested the HP Envy 17T laptop. Good to go. We've tested the Intel NUC. Not good to go. And we have uh, tested three other computers with different results. We tested an eight-year-old computer that didn't work which was the AMD FX8350, no go. Didn't like the processor, so we didn't even bother with TPM. And the other two machines we've tested, I'll show you the results. That's the results for the 8350. Because there's an issue with the CPU, we didn't bother with the TPM. The next machine we tested was a Ryzen 1800X 8-core 16-thread. And that Ryzen 7 1800X is a second-generation processor. Now, it looks like if that had been a Ryzen 2000, it would have worked. So we didn't even bother to check TPM because the processor doesn't measure up. The next machine we tested was an AMD X399 Aorus Extreme with a 2950. That's 16 cores, 32 threads. And on that machine, the CPU measures up, but the boot method was legacy. We left it to the default. We didn't change it to unified EFI. And because we didn't change it to unified EFI when Windows installed, it set for an MBR. So we need to go back and change that to unified EFI BIOS and we need to go back and change the uh, drive from an MBR to a GPT. Then we can enable TPM. But we did that in that order to show those issues. We might go back and show that as a separate video. And now on this machine, because it says TPM is missing, that's the only thing we need to do. And since this video is about TPM initialization, we're going to go to the BIOS. We're going to turn that on, come back and run the test. Voila! So we'll close all this down. Let's reboot and get into the BIOS. Trusted platform module. This makes sense on the enterprise. This doesn't make sense on the desktop, but it is what it is. The point of this is you don't have to run out and go buy a chip. You've probably got it enabled in your firmware, your BIOS firmware. So I hear a post as soon as we get into the BIOS. This is what I like about working on the desktop. I can show you exactly because the output is HDMI to the screen. Let's go to settings, miscellaneous, and right here, AMD FTPM, firmware TPM, trusted computing. Press enter, highlight, press enter, AMD CPU FTPM enabled, trusted computing settings, security device support enabled, disable block SID, we're going to leave that off, and let's see if it'll work as it is. All this is about is so we can get access to Windows 11. So we escape all those menus, we'll press F10, and it shows the last setting in the BIOS. And by the way, while we're here, those of you that have been asking about the BIOS, let's take a look at which BIOS we have. So we're going to go to Easy Mode, F2, and up here in the top left, on the Gigabyte TRX40 Designator, it shows the BIOS version we're running, F4i. And this is still a beta BIOS. There's another BIOS that's out, we're not ready to upgrade to it yet, we're just not that brave but we'll keep you posted. F2 to go back to the regular menu. F10 and save shows the one thing we've done last modified. AMD CPU FTPM for firmware trusted platform module. 
from disable to enable. We will say yes and reboot. And as soon as this comes back up, we'll go back into Windows. We'll go to Device Manager, verify we have that device enabled. Then we'll go run the test again. This should give us TPM initialization. I hope stepping through this helps everybody so that you're ready for Windows 11. We've got some time, but we need to get ready. And for those of you that want to get on this developer release, you've got to get in the developer channel. So we've got instructions on the video that talks about the Windows 11 pre-release build that will tell you about how to do all that. This is strictly about TPM initialization on the Gigabyte TRX40 Designare motherboard. Now, if you guys have any questions about this, let me know. All I can say is go through it, run the tests, see what you've got, because the results, a lot of people I think are going to be really, really upset. Okay, Windows is up. Let's go back. We'll go to Control Panel, Device Manager, and we are looking at Security Devices, and we have Trusted Platform Module 2.0. Now let's go run the test again and see where we're at, see how we're doing. It's always good to know your specs, and it's always good to test and verify. And the number one sticking point seems to be the processor for most folks, and not TPM. So we'll run the test, and the only thing that should come up is yes for everything. Give it a minute for DirectX, and it shows on there TPM 2.0 detected. That means we are in business, so we have success. And the program again that we're testing with is not the Microsoft program. This is Why Not Windows 11 on GitHub. We'll have a link up. Now, if we need to, we've got some other computers, uh, laptops that we're going to check. And if we decide to check those, we'll be sure and do videos on them. We've got a, a Lenovo we need to test uh, because we use a Lenovo on the video switch. We've also got the one we use for the graphics overlay when we do live. And uh, we still have an upgrade to do on that for the M.2 NVMe drive. And that is an Asus Republic of Gamers laptop. So we're going to check that. We'll do a video on that as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. By the way, this is Builder By. My name is Gil Boyd. I want to thank you guys for watching. We're on to the next video. Stay tuned. We're out.